Hello, uh, this is Beautbox. So today I'm going to uh, make a uh, review regarding with this latest uh, camera that I bought. It is a Sony 6600. So, a disclaimer. I am not a professional photographer or videographer, so out of curiosity, I bought this on Amazon. <laughs> you know, just want to challenge myself and uh, learn how to uh, take a good photograph and also take a good uh, video. So, what I have here is the Sigma uh, 16mm 1.4 f, so and also the uh, Sony camera 6600. So, the good thing about this one is. Uh, it is not designed for the beginners so this is the design I think and this is my personal opinion if you are intermediate to advanced and you want to uh, take good photographs and also videos so I'm advising you to use or uh, purchase this type of camera so aside from uh, different features it has it has a lot of things that it can offer unlike in a regular uh, Sony or any other type of camera that I, I use like Canon this one is a little bit sophisticated and advanced so I'm still learning how to operate this one and also use the different features especially uh, the video setup the uh, picture profile so I've learned that if I'm going to take a photograph I'm going to use the picture profile number three and if I'm going to uh, use this camera for video, I'm going to use the uh, picture profile uh, number 7. So it's easy to use this one because I already tested the quality of the pictures and also the video. So you can also search that on uh, YouTube if you really want to learn more about the picture profile. As I have said, I am not a professional uh, photographer or videographer. So I'm just uh, learning from it by myself and also watching YouTube uh, uh, channels that uh, uh, kind of like cater for uh, Sony A6600. So another thing is uh, I know why am I using the Sigma uh, 16mm f1.4? Well, aside from the price, it is handy at the same time the quality and then the resolution of this lens is really good, uh, especially if you use it in the uh, uh, photograph, when taking photographs and also uh, video. So of course, if you're going to compare Sigma to uh, Sony uh, lenses, of course, you can tell the difference, the crispness of uh, Sony lenses is way uh, different compared to Sigma but if you're kind of like a person that you don't want to spend too much money because you're just starting go for the Sigma okay plus the, it has a lot of good reviews about the Sigma 16mm so and also uh, uh, some other Sony lenses it, it, it's it's hard to uh, to, to use especially if you're just going to rely only on one uh, type of lens but I think uh, based on the review that I watch is saying that you can you can have a uh, uh, Sigma 16mm and you can you can have it uh, for wide angle or a little bit of telephoto and then the resolution is really good and so far it's so good you know based on my experience using this one and also um, using Sony uh, a6600 it's kind of like a, a level of your uh, creativity because it has a lot of features such as uh, the s log the uh, the scene one two three and four things like that you can learn all of those uh, by exploring the uh, the feature of this camera unlike other cameras uh, that I, I know they don't have that kind of feature maybe they use a different vocabulary or name but so far it is a, uh, a very uh, handy at the same time very informative and educational so another thing is the menu that it has in this camera there's abundant of information so it might be overwhelming for those who just starting to learn how to uh, uh, do the photography or videography so as I have said a while ago, it is not advisable for the beginner. So it is more uh, kind of like geared towards for those intermediate to advance. So in my case, I am not an intermediate or, you know, I might consider myself as an intermediate type of uh, uh, photographer and videographer because I have a little bit knowledge of photography and videography. So um, another thing, if you are going to use this one, 
you're not gonna see the the exact result how is it uh, look like unless if you're using a different types of uh, or a, a software to edit your photo or your video if you're just going to plug it into a regular kind of uh, uh, computer it doesn't have that kind of uh, feature or uh, edit editing uh, capability you're not gonna see the color that you're trying to uh, to, to pursue or you want to change because if not it's gonna be pale or kind of like a blunt type of uh, color it's kind of like wash out so in my case I use uh, my iPhoto uh, because I have an Apple computer and also I use my uh, uh, iMovie for uh, editing my uh, videos and so far so good you know uh, who knows maybe in the next few months I'm going to upgrade my uh, editing uh, app uh, software uh, maybe I just go on a Final Cut Pro or maybe um, uh, Premiere you know I, I kind of like hearing all of those kind of good uh, software for editing uh, on YouTube but I'm not gonna dive into that one unless I uh, already mastered this uh, type of camera again uh, as I have said a while ago it is advisable for the intermediate to advanced type of photographer and videographer and if you really want it yeah go for it if they, aside from the price it's a little bit pricey but you can uh, you can depend on this type of camera because it has a lot of features that you can use okay uh, you have to um, kind of distance yourself from using the auto things like that because if you're going to use that one then it just kind of like useless because you're not using the best uh, feature of this camera so that's the thing that I've learned from uh, using this uh, camera so you might be asking why it looks different well because aside from the camera the lens things like that I bought some uh, uh, gears for this camera like the strap like the uh, small rig uh, case so I use I, I bought that all on the Amazon so for further information on that one I'm going to uh, uh, include that on my description uh, box uh, for this uh, for video so that you can check it out if you're really interested in so again I am recommending this uh, Sony A6600 for the intermediate to advanced type of photographers and uh, uh, videographer okay but for the beginners don't spend the money yet until you're really uh, capable of doing it and if you're really into it then go for it but in terms of uh, the quality of the, the photo quality of the video that you're going to uh, get from this uh, uh, small uh, machine well it's incomparable to other uh, you know cameras it in my own opinion because I own Canon I didn't see it you know it come close to uh, Sony a6600 okay this is a mirrorless type of camera so um, again go for it if you're interested in you know you can check it underneath of my uh, uh, description box to check it out the price of my uh, gears and also the the camera but I'm gonna tell you this when I bought the Sony uh, a6600 it cost me like thirteen hundred dollars so that's a way uh, you know a little bit pricey but I, I do believe that the reason why it's pricey because of the uh, the uh, the quality of the photo and then the video that it can uh, give uh, uh, you okay and also there's a lot of features that you can uh, find inside this camera so again you can uh, ask me question as best as I can answer it but as I have said in my uh, you know start of the video I am not a uh, professional uh, photographer or professional videographer I'm just giving you um, call this uh, insight or review of this camera based on my experience so far so I bought this last uh, month ago and then I use it and uh, you know uh, outdoor photography videography things like that and indoor and so far so good and the quality is way above compared to other camera so what are you waiting for buy it now
so that you can see especially this coming uh, Christmas it's a good uh, gift for yourself or to your loved ones or to your friends who loves photography or videography okay so I'm going to wait for your uh, comments likes and of course if you haven't subscribed on my uh, YouTube channel uh, view box please do so thank you